Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video, I show you how to create a model with uh, React using the dialog HTML element. And also I showed you on the before two videos, how to create model with Vue.js using also the view use and with Vue.js using dialog. So three videos, I showed you how to create models with the view and React. And in this video now, I want to show you how to do the same thing on Laravel project using Alpine JS. So here I have the project, Laravel project, and I have open on VS Code and let's open the welcome page here. So the welcome page, we have this HTML which I want to remove everything. Okay, and just add for now H1 with some classes and say hello world. Let's save, let's come here. Yeah, we need to run also the npm run dev and let's go yeah here we have the hello world good so we have the app css and the app js here so which means we have the alpine and the tiling css very good now let's start and work with the model first of all i'm going to add a button here let's add some classes not a btn but Styling classes, so px3 and py2, bg blue, text white, and not click me, but I'm going to rename that to say uh, open dialog. And then let's create a dialog here. For now, I'm going to say open, and then I'm going to add some classes here. So class to be BG white, rounded large, shadow large, and also padding of uh, four. In this dialog, I'm going to add the H1, and then let's close the dialog first, and I'm going to copy this button. And after this H1, I'm going to add a form with the method to be dialog, and then inside I'm going to paste that button, which is going to close the dialog here. Okay, I think we are okay now. Let's save. So we have a button to open the dialog and a dialog here with a H1 hello world or hello from Alpine JS model. And then we have this uh, form with a button to close the dialog. Good. Let's see now. Let's come here. Yeah. Hello from Alpine.js model and we have this open dialog here this button which also I want to make this uh, rounded corner and maybe let's move everything inside the div so we do add a div with the class to be max with 6xl paste that in and let's close then the div okay yeah and on this div, I'm going to add margin top, at least two. Yeah, good. Now by default, this is showing. So I'm going to remove the open attribute from the dialog. And we don't see that. I want to see that when we click here to open the dialog. Now we can do that with Alpine.js now. First of all, on this div, Bind div, I'm going to add x data and we can add this open to false, but for now I'm going to leave it empty and I'm going to add a reference to this dialog. You can read more on the Alpine JS documentation for xref or x data and so on. So let's add the x ref here to be equal with and I'm going to name it the uh, dialog ref here. Okay, now on this button. We can use the on click event and when we click what I want to do is to access this dialog ref and call the open uh, not open but show dialog sorry so let's do that let's say dollar sign refs like this we can access now the dialog ref dot dialog ref is very easy and then dot let's say show Let's call the show model. Okay, so we added the XRF on the dialog. 
with the name dialog ref and on this button we can access this by using the dollar sign refs dot dialog ref dot show model. let's see let's save that let's come here and refresh let's click nothing happened and i think we have the no we don't have the alpine js in here so let me just open the alpine js dot the get started and we can go to installation and we can use this uh, cdn or we can in install the alpine js and use it like this so for now i'm going to say use the cdn let's close this and i'm going to remove now this app js because we don't have the alpine js there i thought we have but anyway now let's close and let's open the project if i click here as you can see now we have the hello from alpine js model if i close okay open now click tab and as you can see the button inside the model is focused if i click tab again is focused the url but right now we don't see that because we are on arc browser and if i hover the button and click enter we close that good so we have the open and close also we can uh, instead of the form we can create a method to close the dialog so here on x data i'm going to create a close method so let's say close and this is going to say dollar sign ref dialog ref close and let's do that let's go to button and say on click on this button what i want to do is to call this close method okay so let's do that let's say close and let's save now so on the x data i created this method and inside of this method here i said dot assign refs dot dialog ref dot close let's come here and refresh open close with the button here okay open and close with the hover on the button and with enter also we can close with the escape good now what ab about when we open and i want to close when we click outside nothing here also if i click here nothing and the same thing we can create a new method here so this is the first one let me just do it like this and create another method here so i'm going to name it close from event the same name i have created also on the react and UGS, which is going to receive the event and here we're going to check if the event not like this we're going to check if the event dot current target is triple equal with event dot target in that case i want to close okay so this is the first method and this is the second method and now on the dialog we can add on click event here the be equal and here i'm going to call close from event method and with pass here the event and let's say let's come here a refresh open the dialog close from a button good open the dialog close from with the escape key open the dialog i click outside okay if i open and click inside nothing click on the button yes uh, let's use the tab key so the open dialog button is focused enter now this button is the button inside the dialog is hovered if i click the tab again the button in the page is not hovered anymore as you can see it's hovered only the button inside the dialog so if i click tab again 
So you can see this button now is focused and let's click enter to close. And that's it all about this video, how to create a simple uh, dialogue with uh, Alpine.js using the dialogue HTML element. Now, if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best friends. Thank you very much.